My guest today is Krzysztof Katowicz, known as Koto, who is one of the leads of the team that is behind the Vulnerability Reward Program. Hello, Koto. Hello, thanks for having me. So let's start with the basic stuff, which is what is Vulnerability Reward Program, the VRP? Well, uh, the VRP is the way for us to say thank you to the community that helps us demonstrate um, security problems in our products. And the way we say thank you is mostly by just rewarding them with uh, money, rewarding bug hunters. People who find bugs are called bug hunters in uh, bug bounty programs all over the world. And how much people can get paid? Well, uh, all in all, since we started in 2010, we paid like $45 million, dollars, I believe, a little bit more by, by, by today. Uh, the last announced uh, version was, was, was $45 million. Dollars. So quite a lot, I would say, for a single bug in, in the program that I'm the lead of, so the Google VRP, uh, we now have our top reward north of $150,000 for a single bug. That's very nice. RCE, I guess. Uh, yes, that would be RC in pretty much Google service in, in one, of the, one of the top tier sort of applications or, or, or service. Okay, um, so you already mentioned that you are the lead of the, one of the programs. So can you tell a little bit about the scope of the VRPs? Um, well, we have four groups of uh, vulnerability reward programs at Google. Uh, one of them, uh, the one that I kind of represent is um, is the web is Google VRP. So um, it mostly covers uh, web uh, programs or web-based applications, Google Cloud, Cloud plat Platform. Uh, so workspace. Um, then we have a second group, which is uh, Chrome VRP, and that one covers, well, Chrome, the web browser, the, also all the other dependencies of Chrome. Then we have uh, Android uh, programs, uh, th which cover uh, vulnerabilities in, in Pixel devices, Nest devices, uh, Fitbit devices, um, and then we have the open source sort of group of programs which cover, well, um, first party and third party um, open source products that, that Google releases. And we are on the Google for Developers YouTube channel, so many of our viewers might not have experience with looking for security bugs or exploiting them. And do we have something that we can offer to them? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, so getting back maybe a as a little bit of intro. So our main group of programs reward for submitting pretty much security bugs. So a way to them demonstrating that we have a security problem in our software, in our product, in a target, uh, and then we can fix it and, and reward uh, people reporting it. But uh, for developers, we, for example, have patch reward programs. A patch reward uh, program is something um, that helps uh, reward people who contribute patches, software patches to security problems or um, yeah, security related problems in open source uh, products, not necessarily our first party Google owned um, open source um, projects, but also something like, I don't know, libjpeg, OpenSSH server or um, WordPress, uh, the content management system. So if um, you know of a security problem in one of those softwares, and they have public bug, bug trackers, obviously, uh, then you can work with the maintainers of said product to, to patch it, um, and then report uh, those patches in a form of like, here's a link to a pull request that got merged to us and, and get rewarded by that. So you can get paid for well, improving the security, not just demonstrating the flaw. And would you have some hints for developers or bug hunters in general, how to pick the target? I would advise to take a look at something that you're the most familiar with, if that makes sense. For, so for example, it might be um, a product that you use at Google. For example, let's say you um, you have some cloud projects on our cloud um, uh, platform, then maybe take a look at the security of those. Uh, if you're a user of the Android phone, maybe take a look at the Android operating system. Um, same with same Chrome OS devices, for example. Um, I, for example, uh, look at Gmail security sometimes because obviously I, I do use Gmail, um, uh, the product. 
So look at something like this. But also for, for developers, I think what might be an interesting avenue is taking a look at our open source, uh, um, we call it OSS VRP, so open source software uh, vulnerability rewards program, which rewards not just for, let's say, security bugs in, in uh, I don't know, let's say Angular, right? But also in bugs in how this exemplary Angular project is being set up on GitHub to build and then release to package managers. So if you are a developer who also works in open source, uh, maybe you have your own, uh, you know, GitHub account, uh, you have set up your project that automatically tests, builds, release, releases all of this using many third party uh, integrations, for example, using GitHub actions and whatnot, then you are already deeply familiar with how not just writing open source code works, but how building open source uh, uh, and releasing open source packages work. And let me tell you that there's many potential security problems with how this uh, build, test, release uh, pipeline is set up. There can be many security problems with it, and we do reward for those. And uh, those rewards are usually s somewhere in the range of 30k uh, uh, US dollars. So for ob obviously for the top uh, top problems that, that can demonstrate how you can compromise the actual release of, of Google first party open source product. Okay, so I think the bottom line here is that if you are a developer and you work with some libraries, frameworks, applications, like Google products, you might have more deep dive knowledge about these things than a security researcher who looks at that for the first time. And you might actually have better insight and you might understand better what's going on under the hood. For sure. It's very similar to uh, how regular bug reporting works. Um, if you ever reported a regular functional, let's say, bug uh, in, say, open source product or any other, uh, any other product, then it is much more likely that you will file actionable bugs to this product if you are the user, right? Uh, and, not, and not if you are the first time user, but if this is something that you work with, I don't know, daily or commonly, or maybe you have some specific um, skill set or specific insight in the inner workings of a product, a project, then it is very likely that you can help contribute useful bug reports. And in, in our cases, it would be like security bug reports, right? But nothing changes in general. And now let's assume that um, I'm a bug hunter and I found a bug or I want to submit a patch. And how should I proceed? Go to bughunters.google.com. This is our single website that describes all of those uh, various programs, their respective rules. Uh, and obviously, there is a submission form uh, that you fill out. And then we get to take a look at the issue, triage it, uh, fix it, most, most importantly, and reward it. Uh, as a thank you to uh, you know to to you the submitter, and any final uh, words for our researchers or back hunters? You only learn by doing, I think. Uh, so I would encourage you to start hacking Google products right here, right now. They pick a, pick one that that you are uh, using the most. Uh, or that uh, is based on technologies that you know, uh, uh, you understand, and, and you have some familiarity with, um, and try finding some bugs. Obviously, go to bughunters.google.com. There's like a learn section which demonstrates a lot of sort of our prior knowledge about the security posture of specific uh, of specific products. But you know, the field is open to everyone. So, thank you very much for the discussion. Yeah, thank you. And um, did you participate in any Google VRPs? Or is there some aspect of the Google VRP that you'd like to hear more about? Please let us know in the comments. And in the meantime, happy hacking. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.